If you're a guitar player, always searching for new videos here on YouTube, you might have run into this girl, Lisa X from Japan. She's known for playing very difficult and technical songs since she was 11 years old. Now she's only 13 and you can find her playing several ultra difficult songs all over the internet. And when I saw this video of her playing one of my most difficult songs, I was speechless. <laughs> She was only 11 years old, impressive isn't it? When I shared this video, I got thousands and thousands of comments and I can summarize this in two comments. The first one was, I will quit playing guitar. And the other comment was, what is the Japanese secret? But if you wanna quit now, after seeing her playing, stop, don't quit. I will show you why in this video. But before, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments and turn on the notification bell, okay? Getting an excellent technique in only few years is possible. Lisa X, I uh, started, she told me, when she was seven years old. So it's possible and it's up to you. Discipline and practicing strategy. What I mean by strategy is learning how to learn so you can be very efficient when you're practicing. And uh, I just had a chance to jam with Lisa X and we played two of my songs at the NAMM show 2019 at the DV Mark booth. And before we went on stage, I asked her what her secret is. And her father was there too. By the way, her father is her teacher. And guess what? She has a brother, 11 years old brother. And check this out. <laughs> So now it's time to know the secret, right? The sound quality is not great because the NAMM show is very noisy and uh, you know, Japanese, they don't talk very loud, but they do play very fast. So let's find out Lisa X practice routine. And I'm gonna break down four practicing concepts she was talking about. How many hours? And uh, you told me, I remember you told me once how many hours, but how many hours do you practice per day? Two, three hours. She said she practiced two to three hours a day. So contrary to what a lot of people think, practicing is not about quantity, it's about quality. So it's not how many hours you practice, but how you practice. And it's not easy to stay focused for long periods of time. Focus on learning something new or developing a new skill. Doing a session of more than one hour is, is really hard. Why is it hard? Because practicing focused you have to be very critical all the time. You have to keep correcting yourself all the time. You have to fix all the small mistakes constantly. It's really hard to be that much focused for more than one hour or two hours. But of course you can do two or three sessions a day of this one hour practice uh, routine. The other hours of the day you should use for another purpose such as study harmony, improvisation, composition, rehearsing with your with a band and the most important thing is playing with no judgment. You know you're gonna have this one hour practicing like being very critical and severe to yourself. When you go after that, you just play, let it flow, discover the music inside you, the music from your heart. So it's another moment, it's another feeling. And the more you practice this, this moment, this musical moment, the better. Focus practice is the opposite. Short periods of very effective practice. So let's hear now the second concept she mentioned. At first, slowly. Slowly. Of course, slow. Very slow. Uh, faster. 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 The only way to learn a new movement is doing it slowly. Checking the finger movements, making sure there's no tension that you slow you down. Be aware of everything and then, only then, you start to increase speed. So now let's hear the third thing she mentioned. So when you learn a song, do you learn the entire song or you do like one part of the song, ah. slower, and then faster, yeah. and then 
the next part of the song. Yes, each part. Each part? Yeah. So yep. we're going through the whole song. So, yeah. Each part? Each part, per part. So the third thing she mentioned, which is very interesting, and uh, that's the way to do it, is learn part by part. Normally we, we want to learn a song and start playing all over the place, you want to play the entire song, you're not prepared yet, you just want to play the solo, you know, the cool part of the solo, but the best way of doing is like learn one bar, or one line, or 10 seconds of the song. Don't try to play the whole thing, the entire song, unprecisely. Learn each bar. Don't go to the next bar, to the next line, to the next 10 seconds of the song, unless you really nail the first bar. Step by step, at some point, you play precisely the whole song. And when it's very difficult, something very difficult. She play another thing. I do video again. Okay. And then come back to the guitar. Yeah. So kind of uh, resting the mind yes. a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's a very important thing. Yeah. For only for the difficult parts. So when you give those breaks to play a video game, yeah. So like after one hour. Uh, Twenty minutes. Video game. Okay. okay. Yeah. So she plays for one hour and then yes. twenty minutes yes. break. Yes. Never 25 minutes. Never <laughs> <enough. Yeah. laughs> this was so cool to hear because I was not playing video games when I was practicing guitar. But I remember I was reading books or watching TV or doing something else. Because it's hard to be like hours and hours and hours playing all the time. You don't want to hate music. You don't want to hate guitar. Playing is fun. So don't make yourself hate practicing. But remember, it's not one hour. 30 minutes or 25 minutes is precisely 20 minutes. It's just a break, it's a reward, it's a moment that you just, you know, get out of the, you know, the, the pressure of trying to play something difficult. And then you go back to the guitar fresh and ready to keep practicing another hour. Very simple, right? There are many more strategies of learning how to play faster and with precision without spending hours and hours practicing only technique. If you know how to practice, if you learn how to learn, you're gonna have much more time to make music. And that's what we want, right? If you like, I can do more videos about it. So just let me know, leave some comments. So now it's your turn, grab your guitar and go practicing. But before, subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next video, bye. Start with the brainstorm right away. Okay.